too much. I'm just going to give you a chemtrail. And what they're worried about up here is the idea that we keep on getting about 20 degrees warmer temperatures than what we should be getting. So there is where the jet was normally having its trail. And I got a uh, under eight, under 18 out here now. Young man, does that look like where the regular tail of the exhaust of the point of the jet when it was coming over is back there, right? Yep. Okay, and when we look up to the right up here, it looks like they start, looks like when you've seen them crop dust before, it looks like they started right there, huh? Yep. And then it just goes across the sky, and the sun's going to come into the shot here in a second, folks. This is Bino Black and basically saying that the idea that I love, uh, basically because more than likely, one way or the other, they are either giving us a chemtrail to make sure it doesn't get too damn hot, for since we're so close to the sun, recorded history, and the sun is in the supergiants, and the idea that we need moisture. So, and we have been, as you know from certain people's sites and so forth, that the idea that we have been modifying the weather for years. So, as under 18 youth, the idea that you have seen crop dusting before, right? Yeah. And the idea that you see the uh, the jet trail back there, right? Yep. And basically, we kind of know that basically we need to stay cool, right? Yeah. And we got to have crops and we got to have food, right? Yep. And we know somewhat about food fudge up, right? Yeah. But we don't talk about that, right? No. That's correct. So, here from the smart people in the plains, uh, Merry Christmas and the idea that pretty much it should be for the betterment of all. But what we'll have to see and we just have to, when we know there's something wrong and we'll, but otherwise right now everything's cool, be no blackout and happy holidays because you never know when the idea that I might be drinking a little bit too much either and not be able to make videotape. So later, happy holidays and there's some chemtrail action. Now up to space we go, Bino Black here, and here we go with the last go recent, and I'll try to refresh this in a minute. Let's go to a video. Lovejoy or not, because this is after the other side. So as we see as the idea that it is actually, watch the clock, and if you see the buttons, it's actually going, they've got it going. Okay, no matter what, the clock doesn't lie, and watch the movement, and watch the clock go as we go forward in time, okay? So as you can see, that the idea that when we look at Lasco 3, from behind, from Navy, I'll show you that in a second, and the idea that basically in space, okay, it is coming towards the camera, which is basically it's going into the supergiants, okay, because it's done its turn, if it's Lovejoy, but the idea that if, we, if you've seen it so far, we don't really fooled or believing yet that we know if that's Lovejoy or not. We just know that it's a comet, because it's way bigger than what Lovejoy was. Did it pick up energy as it went by the sun? Uh, also, it's still in Lasco 3, which is behind, which gives us a shot that is going into the supergiants. So, as you see the clock going forward, it's moving like that. It's not moving like if you normally would see it, that you would think that, okay, it's going that way, the tail's here, okay? There's big differences of stuff burning in space and going through space. As you can see, the idea that the angles will fool you. As you can see, as it moves, you can kind of tell, okay, the head, it is coming this way, okay? So it's coming this way, and you'll know and see in the stills, too, because the idea that it is, Stereo 3, is behind, okay? And this is from 5, camera 5 on Stereo 3, okay? So you can see the clock going forward, okay? Recent last go three, and let me re refresh it, see if we get anything fresher. The number one thing is don't let anybody fool you. It's not coming towards Earth. It's going back into the supergiants, okay? And this from Reputable will show us this. And then this is basically what we don't know for sure yet is if this is really Lovejoy. Because of the film, watch my videos, the last two, the idea that we know this is going back towards the supergiants and so forth. And let me get you the map. The number one thing, no matter what, if it's Lovejoy or not, we know it's bigger now, okay, than when it came in, at least the head, okay, and then it also has this split, 
And we have very good evidence that we have triangulation coming in, and it even shows here. you got triangulation there, triangulation there, triangulation there. Now, but this goes by this triangulation, and you'll see that in stereo 3. But the idea of this when it came in and so forth, we've seen it come by this long stripe. As we've seen the original video, it showed us going through space. Comet Lovejoy was following this. Okay, Comet Lovejoy is following this. Okay, so this is not Comet Lovejoy, not what they were showing us, because we have this magnetic, basically just like our North and South Pole, but it's coming in at a different direction than what Earth is. Earth runs up and down compared to what we normally look at the Sun. Okay, magnetic pole, magnetic pole, dying off or whatever, that's its flare, just like Mars, Venus, and everything like that, and like Earth. Even on a shot to Helio viewer, they were having to block something out, as you see in these shots that I got off of it. And I haven't even had time to watch that video yet. So if anybody can find that video that starts out with that, at least blocking that. So so honestly, folks, what we're trying to figure out is the idea, is it Mercury or Mars that's on fire? Because this could be from just the sun or from the supergiants, or was Haley or what was following uh, Joy... I mean, sorry about saying Haley, but uh, we had these shots from, uh, and then the idea, Earth, they marked this, and the idea that a lot of stuff, basically those, that's a good shot of our Milky Way and this asteroid belts and so forth melding, I guess, in, I sent in a sense, and then we see this that's out there, so it's very close to Earth, as you can see. And I believe this should be the sun over here because it gets blocked out because it's bright, I believe. So that was Earth. They marked that as Earth. Okay. And then we've had this action up there by the sun. And we know that we had that coming in. So the idea that what I'm trying to sort out is the idea of we know that more than likely some of these are solar flares. So they did. It's like I showed you before on this. Did Mars ain't that big, but something either that or a cluster of there, 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 and way up there. So is that what we see when they are showing us Earth, and then we see that big cluster? Also on this shot, those clusters there. A bunch of planets and also there so if all this is there all of a sudden we got a bunch of stuff that's close to earth that we didn't know about the idea is this that brightness up there and is that our object that's up by the Sun now going back into the supergiants and it, are we at the end of the magnetical field and if this is the Sun this is the supergiant part of the supergiants then and the idea that this is all the brightness and the idea that the sun's coming in so and then also you get everything is triangulation like a diamond okay like a diamond cutter would cut a diamond you still have to cut it certain ways to get it cut to keep chunks so you don't break down you got crystallization which is triangulation of that diamond or whatever they're gonna call it you have to talk with diamond cutter but triangulation in outer space these objects were humongous hard objects and the idea that when they super bang, whenever they super bang from either a volcano in, in space, hitting together like we surmise, hitting a sun as we surmise. Okay, so there's a solar flare. Okay. And then the idea of you know that when you get a flare like that that gets that out into space that there's an object there. So I, because like I've showed you, this is caught on fire. Something did. Or it came out of, not a flare, it came out of the supergiants, because this is behind. So no matter what, on the Navy shots, you can tell that the idea that it is behind the sun, we know this Lasco 3 shot is from behind the sun, and that this is the most recent, and I could go back and give you some other ones, and you can see how fast it moves, because it moves past a lot of the V action out there as it's going back and it's going to be getting really close to that camera and I'm wondering if it, how hot or bright it was because the idea that they gave us x-ray shots last night
So in Australia, uh, off the Australia Antarctic Division, Australia's Aurora RSV, we appreciate the shots. And you also see, like what we showed you at Hawaii for, go back and look at the just the video before this, and you'll see right at the beginning the, the Hawaii video action. And basically we get this reflection because there is Rigel Cantaris B and the other 50 per 7 cent uh, size of the sun. Rigel Cantaris B is 77 point something percent the size of the sun. And this is it because of time. And we can also show you through late shots and also a crazy ass object down at Nehemiah. Let's show you that. Okay, there's a wild uh, chunk of meteorite from outer space. Or just basically object because it looks like a bird and it's not, ladies and gentlemen. It's no seagull and penguins don't fly. And there. And there is your clock check. So you can check the time on the clock on that action. That's before. There it pops in pops out and these are these triangulations that I've been showing you because basically there it is again and I zoom in on it and there you go a fracture of some material in outer space coming by ladies and gentlemen and here you will see that the idea that you can get the two rays of the Rigel Cantaris B you get a ray there and then the ray here from the bigger Rigel Cantaris B there and Rigel, you can't be starting calling it A and B because A is way back in the behind the supergiants. They are way far apart. Rigel Cantaris A and B are pretty much measurements of the, almost the front and back of the supergiants. And that's more than likely Rigel Cantaris B right there. And then that's the other sun if you go back to the video just before this video of the Hawaii action. Okay, so we zoomed in on that object there. And it's there, folks. It, came, it goes in the video. Go down and look at Nehemiah's. And also there's objects underneath the deal that show up in triangulation and pop okay and this is where I zoomed in on that again and then I was showing the, the idea that underneath the deal and that one is the main one that you will notice the most and then you'll also see those two there too now I could possibly be wrong on these two here but I really don't think on this one because it's down far enough but I so that's why I think that this is part of this triangulation flop okay because it was at this time and you can still see that there and there and I will keep going back here because let me go to another shot here and, just, and basically just make sure you remember this here okay I don't really know about this this could be smoke but the idea if this did happen that's how you control folks the idea that when somebody can make that hum many views they're worth money and people try to get control of it and then sh someone was smart enough and she's probably even that since it's a name and also maybe that name just like aka be no black here, ladies and gentlemen, okay? So you got to protect yourself all the time, okay? So if this is a true story or not, you just got to watch for stuff like that. And that's why we do data sharing with you the way we do it, to keep all the legal and the money and the control of knowledge because we are scientists too. Everybody's got a brain. Okay, so as you see down there, as you've seen earlier on the idea that it, it might be part of this is not but the idea that we may have learned our weather modification for that shield that you see in front of the sun when we video when I videotaped the chemtrail earlier this has different shapes also even the net that's in front of the sun that either we scientifically put there or the idea that it's one of these also moons or whatever that is in front of the sun that has moved in front of our sun during the fall solstice or now or the time through stereo in outer space because this was down at and you, you can see the idea that you can see stuff the idea that okay back when there's no TV and everything like that you can end up seeing things well, I'll move in that in some other video but that's it blown up then the idea you can see that there's way more and there's separation in that object that's up there and it's in front of Rigel Cantaris B, and you can also see this is probably the smaller portion of the Rigel Cantaris B, and then the Rigel Cantaris B. So there's a smaller sun that's like, I believe, 57% the size, and then the idea that you saw that shot earlier of the two. And as you can see here, you get the separation of the two, okay? And the rise and sets. And then you can go back to the video just before this video, and, this, so, and you see the dates and the times here. This is all down at Nehemiah. Okay, and then that was that object that we end up seeing there. And it's not the first time. There's also when you can, if you pay attention and go to the meteor pictures, there is people that have taken pictures of meteors that come around, meteors and comets, and on space, you know what, what everybody watches the weather. So the idea that, and also watch, that, like I'm saying, the idea that they had a map there that I showed you in one of my previous last half dozen videos that showed you that the idea that 
Joy was supposed to have went around the sun real fast. Now, that could be possibly true with the magnetical field. Maybe it did do that bounce like we see and everything like that, but it's moving back behind the sun and, as you see, going towards that SOHO camera. So more videos because it's hard to cramp all this information into one. So we'll put the legal on there and keep sharing and basically don't discuss legal and don't help the lawyers. More videos soon.